Ah, oh, fuck. Welcome back, folks! Yourself. Oh, welcome back to Monkey Island Special Edition Part 3, where we actually conclude with a puzzle! Uh, Correction, he is. I'm playing Fable. And uh, James is very exhausted, and he will not be here for the rest, for the end, towards this puzzle. In other words, we have Chibikari filling in for James. It looks like instructions on how to get and yet, funny thing is, James is playing Fable as we speak. What the fucking hell is going on? Oh well. Anyway, the solution to how to get the navigator's head is simple. You have they want to have they want to find a head in navigating. So simple solution is give them the pen for this is how to get a head in navigating. Simple but effective, but clever solution, and um, kind of creepy. Aww, he's happy to see you. Hey, what? Creepy little thing. Anyway, now that we have the navigator's head, it is time to go back under under the monkey's head. Basically, we can now go on to we can now finally find LeChuck's ship and get the voodoo root that they need. In order for us to get the magical root beer that kills ghosts for some reason. Not gonna work. Yeah, I kinda figured that it was a sub it's not Only a camera can kill a ghost. Oh yeah, nice allusion to Fatal Frame Let's Play there, um You had to point that out. She referenced it, not me. Yeah, you I can reference it, it but you don't have to just flat out say what it's from. Sorry. Uh, anyway, let's keep going. We're going. We're going back towards the monkey head. See how the same idiot that trained him to open the the door never told him to let go. It's it's not. It was not Guybrush's fault. It was the cannibals that trained him. I believe it was the cannibals that trained him. I pretty much said, "Open up the monkey." Well, there you'll probably see the last of um Jojo. So. Now, let's use the head of the navigator. Essentially what the head of the navigator is, it's essentially a compass that guides us underground and for Chibikari right now, this is probably heaven on earth. With the lavas and all. Ah, just like home. Demonic mushrooms, lava, intimate demise, skulls. And Miley and Cyrus. Bitch. I kind of think it. This is pretty much where the head is pointing to. You follow it. So let's. So pretty much just follow. And if the head changes directions, then you have to let it. Then you have to pretty much follow. So the head is pointing left still. So we go towards the left. It it pretty much is random. Oh, now it goes right. You make your bloody mind up, don't you? He doesn't want you to. I trained it. How can you train a severed head? Also, it ch it kind of changed from heart to eyes. I think there's something wrong here. Anyway, we just go right. And then we go right again. Right again. Because there's no way you can get across. And there it is. Well, that was quick. That's that is the there's the there's the ghost ship LeChuck. Now here's what you're suppo here's what you're not supposed to do. Destroy your ship. Get get on the ship because essentially uh they're all dead and you're the only one alive and yeah. Um I think I'll be He's gonna run off now. Flee! And the first mate chases him off. Right, so... I would have just asked, like, can I borrow some root beer? I, I could have asked that too, but now we, but now we okay, get to do the unusual thing is that we need to talk to the, to the head of the navigator in order to get his necklace. May I please have that Basically, necklace? we're going to we're going to ask him pretty no, please. But thanks for asking so They kind of kept this to the, to the sequel. Speaking of the sequel, we are going to be doing the second one. It is kind of expected. 
It also kind of works here. It's also funny and hilarious. Hmm. Pretty, pretty, please. Seriously. You can beg all you want, but you can't have it. Eventually, you will convince him. Pretty please with sugar on top. Oh, all right, you big. There you go. There we can go. We've just, we've, mm -hmm. we've right. just got Next our necklace. We have shoulders and this. Bears filled with the iPods of all his close friends and family. Yeesh. Right. This is what this the head necklace of the navigator does. It actually makes you invisible. Completely invisible to ghosts. And, uh... Now... As you can... We now have a good old, um... Partial print. Okay. Uh, now that the ghost can detect you, we can just open the door and there it, there's the chuck. It'd be a bitch thing to do right now was we say hello, but you really can't do that, so... Use the magnetic compass to get the key. Because there's actually a creaking floorboard. And it's kind of interesting that you can see there's a ghost dog and you can pretty much see the bone that's inside. Interesting. Uh, you can open the door here, but... You discover it's a creaking door, and he just goes to shut it. All we need to do is to make sure that the door is properly hinged. So for that, we need some oil. Yes. And you find oil in the cook. So yeah, for some reason they actually kept they actually keep animals here: ghost pigs, ghost chickens, ghost chipified foxes. Hey. About it. It's probably her dead, probably a dead relative. No. That's what she thinks. No. Uh, use the key in the hatch here, and it'll take you down to the uh, basement, full of ghost rats. <gasps> Ooh, a lot of fun. For, so what we now? How do we? Well, the fe the ghost rats are particularly vicious. So what we need to do is use the ghost feather on the crew. So pretty much we need to make, we need to make sure he drops the uh, alcohol. That's the actual grog there. So that way we can... Drug the rats! It's all fun and game. Because I don't know if it's kind of cruel or just... It says, use the... So, okay. Use the jug of grog with the, with the rat dish. They drink the rat poi... Drink the... Dr the grog and uh, that rat in particular just you know he just uh, keeled over and dies technically he's already dead how could you make it more dead I don't know by eating it so that's what you ought to always say okay yeah. and that's what you never do which is why you will never be cool yeah. right so we used the grease on the door now we just pick up the ghost tools um, inside there is Elaine Marley, but we'd hey, never we'll find see. out. Hey, I bet the governor's in there. Yeah, I bet the governor would actually be there. He's asleep. We can't disturb him, so now that we have the tools, the only thing we could just do is just get the voodoo root, essentially, and we can just pretty much have the means of destroying the ghosts. And the root is in the glowing. Box. Of course. Use the voodoo. Use the voodoo tools on the voodoo crate. Ghost tools on the crate. Now uh, this this is kind of funny here because it's like all these sound effects are all over the place. All right now we look at the glowing grate and we'll just gain the root. We have the root. We have the very. We have the means to kill the ghosts. Let's get out of here. We're done for now. <laughs> do do. So what are you gonna do? Blow up the place? Uh, with the we're gonna first of all we're gonna take we're gonna give the voodoo root back to the cannibals so they can make um a long, a long walk, walk, a brief, a brief row, row, and, row, and a short hike, hike later. <laughs> Fucking cop out. <laughs> I got the root. Uh, he has the root, which is a good thing. Wow! Look. So they're just excited they have the root, and when the, when they do, they'll give, they'll create 
Let's go make Let's go, uh, head off now and create a root root bee and we have to wait right here. Yeah, and they will never give it to Oh, they will. Oh look, it's a three-headed monkey. An actual three-headed monkey. And Guybrush is surprised that he has, he has seen the, um... Nice monkey. Nice monkey. Oh, he is. And that's the last you'll see of the three-headed mm. monkey. There it is. There we go. What now we have the means to use. It is now we have Voodoo Root Beer. Yeah. Question. Why is it root beer? It would have been a lot better if it was Voodoo Coke or something. <laughs> Wait, you were gonna mix Coke and ice cream? Eh, ice cream float. True. What it's not to some more furious paddling later. <laughs> oh, what? They buggered off! Eh. Uh, it depends. The it? conversation tree pretty much depends on uh, what you do. You can get rid. You can use the um, root beer to kill him, but uh, it's not the much of a point. And besides, he's a nice enough guy. Exactly. And you'll what probably the... find out later, he's actually... It depends on which version of the ending you get, rather than, um... If you if the crew didn't get... If, if you didn't destroy the ship, you see the crew meeting, and it'd be like... They're like old friends. The Herman, if the actual ending, when you do sink the ship, they're old friends too, so... It's confusing. He is a weird thing, isn't it? And the sad thing is you never see him again after the into the sequel games. Though really, you don't. Hmm. That's really much about it. He wanted to come to the wedding, but that's about it. So, um... Go after them? He has to stop the wedding! Of course! He says, and here's the crew! Oh, there you are. Okay, you lazy bunch of fuckers. You decide to get off the ship now, eh? Hi, Bob. Bob. His Hi, name is Bob. See. Really? You're looking a little pale. Well, naturally. Disappointed! Yeah, it's the Hercules clip. Oh, the usual way. Out for a day's ponder. No. Actually, go look up Hercules disappointed. It's actually a pretty good clip. Okay. So, um, you could pretty much, um, choose any option here. Well, that'd be nice. It will stop it. Yeah, it will stop the conversation. And that's just about it. We're about to head back there anyway. You can come along. Great! It would have this would have been a great asshole moment if the crew actually how'd she get in without using the head? What? Well, well, I mean, that is, you don't seem to have a head, and what? <laughs> um, what the know. hell? You guys know this shambling? Yeah, I was just about to think that too. The one with the slippery grip on his slippery head? grip on the head. <laughs> You've got to get over this obsession with heads, three wood. He can't help himself. Yeah, we've got to essentially. get back to <clears throat> No kidding. No kidding. Yeah, we're out of sunscreen. How can you fuckers run out of sunscreen considering you left me to do all this in the first place? Guybrush? They're a bunch of assholes, that's why. Yeah, and Guybrush's expression was like... Till next time, folks. Indeed. In the last episode, we're going to be kicking... We're going to be kicking ass. Oh, I'm surprised, too.